fasting increases lifespan in animals. So fasting has direct connection to longevity. Actually, it's huge. But what about humans? I will tell you health effects of fasting in humans and fasting methods. Most important why people uh, is fasting is weight loss. Weight loss is more prominent effect and we see it very clearly. That's why weight loss is important. Another is insulin sensitivity. It improves insulin sensitivity, decreases oxidative stress, decreases inflammation, increases autophagy. Autophagy is one of the most important thing for longevity and we will discuss it. And it has anti-aging property. So now let's discuss what kind of fasting exists, uh, what is most common and uh, what kind of fasting has more benefits. First is alternate day fasting. Alternate, during alternate day fasting, you eat normally every other day during the week. Uh, this green is uh, days when you eat normally and yellow is when you fast but this fast is not zero calorie you still eat during fasting days you still eat but you eat less uh, you eat less than 500 calories so alternate day fasting is not real fasting it's not uh, zero fasting but whole day fasting is real fasting it means uh, you eating normally during the day, for example, five days, which is green here, and uh, you don't eat uh, in two days, which is red here. So uh, during the day, you eat nothing, literally nothing, just you drinking water. Also, you can drink uh, tea or coffee, which has zero calorie, of course, without sugar. So what what fasting is doing? And both fasting, alternate day fasting and whole day fasting is uh, similar uh, with their effects. They are not similar. And whole day fasting has more health benefits. Both of them have, uh, is good for weight loss. Both, both of them increased insulin sensitivity and alternate day fasting may increase insulin sensitivity more. Uh, but whole day fasting is very important because body during whole day fasting body turns into ketosis uh, it means body creates ketone bodies and these ketone bodies are used as a fuel in our body normally when when we eat normally our body uses glucose as a fuel it means no matter what are you eating when you eating uh, our body converts it to glucose and it burns glucose and that, that's the whole idea of metabolism oh of course metabolism is very complex process and lots of processes there and other processes also important but most important if we if we say most important is burning glucose it burns glucose and creates energy and during fasting uh, glucose reserves are depleted. Uh, there is no glucose in the body. Uh, we have some reserves in the liver, liver, uh, uh, liver glucose, uh, which is uh, which is called glycogen, also depleted, and body starts uh, creates ketone bodies, and ketone bodies are delivered to the cell, and they are burning, and we get energy. So instead of glucose, we burning uh, ketone bodies. That's the idea of fasting, and that's the idea of ketosis. Uh, and these ketone bodies also are uh, um, created in the liver from fats. Fats are break down into fatty acids, and from fatty acids, um, uh, liver creates ketone bodies, included acetone and glycerol also. But um, when we say that our body uh, depleted glucose, it does not mean that glucose goes to zero. Glucose is not go to, goes to zero because uh, body still produces some glucose, but very minimal. Such minimal that during ketosis, 
our energy almost 90% of energy uh, are uh, created from keton bodies and the rest of 10% uh, or maybe 15% in some cases 30% from steel glucose why because uh, we get glycerol also when we uh, break down uh, fats we get glycerol and glycerol also uh, is converted in glucose but very small amount in in the liver and we still have some level of glucose in the body uh, but main fuel is ketone bodies and what this ketone bodies is, do, is doing ketone bodies do many things and it's very important first is it activates AMPK system AMPK pathway it's signaling pathway actually uh, which is very important recently because it has many anti-aging properties AMPK uh, inhibits mTOR activity mTOR also signaling pathway and mTOR uh, decreased mTOR activity causes autophagy and what means autophagy? autophagy means during our metabolism we have lots of damaged molecules damaged cells cell parts which uh, are not functioning and uh, these uh, parts in the body causes inflammation and may turn to cancer also so uh, during the autophagy uh, uh, body encircles these damaged molecules and lysosome uh, li uh, lysosome will bind it and lysosome will break down uh, these damaged particles and uh, it means autophagy and body uses uh, this digested digested damaged cells or digested molecules uh, body use as an energy also or to create uh, proteins uh, it uses these uh, amino acids which are produced uh, so uh, autophagy is very important autophagy uh, protects us from chronic diseases and it has anti-aging property it means autophagy promotes longevity and autophagy auto uh, promotes um, less chronic diseases less cancers that's why it's important and if we return to our uh, first method of fasting which is called alternate day uh, fasting in alternate day fasting there is no autophagy there is no ketone bodies so uh, it has no anti-aging effect but whole day fasting is important because at this case body is in ketosis and it creates uh, uh, creates environment for uh, autophagy and it means anti-aging property also what what ketosis is doing uh, ketosis promotes fat burning fat burning because uh, we get uh, these fatty acids from our fat fat cells fat cells release fat and uh, then uh, these uh, fats are uh, uh, these fa fatty acids are used uh, to create ketone bodies and ketone bodies uh, are used as a fuel um, also ketosis uh, decrease uh, appetite appetite sub uh, suppression it's very important and people who fasting that's why people who are fasting for two days or three days they are not hungry anymore because uh, ketosis suppress uh, appetite and some people say that uh, ketosis also increase mental clarity but uh, it's a debatable topic because in, in case of some people it, it's not like this uh, and uh, main question is here uh, how many time is needed uh, to turn body uh, from uh, glucose uh, consumption to ketosis uh, after fasting if you zero calorie fast uh, human needs around 12 hours or more uh, from 12 hours to 48 hours to turn body into ketosis actually it's 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 a huge time 
right because when you fasting and uh, 12 hours already gone you may think that uh, yes it's ketosis but it's not ketosis you still burning glucose you still burning uh, glycogen so it's not ketosis and uh, to turn ketosis requires at least 12 hours and uh, also person should be physically active uh, physical activity increases speed uh, to turn body into ketosis but some case it needs 48 hours so you may you you may fast and never uh, become to ketosis or very partially uh, not full ketosis uh, it's also on point here that's why it's important generally to reduce uh, to reduce uh, carbohydrate intake carbohydrates because for example if you decrease carbohydrate uh, intake generally not uh, I'm not pertaining fasting generally we, you decrease uh, carbohydrate intake and you get only uh, 20 grams of carbohydrates per day if you if you if you intake 20 grams carbohydrate uh, in day in a day every day in three to five days you will be in ketosis also so less carbohydrates means ketosis and uh, you, you can uh, turn your body into ketosis without uh, fasting also it means it, it, it is called keto diet so keto diet is also uh, effective to turn body into ketosis and for autophagy for activate uh, a, a AMPK to uh, inhibit mTOR and uh, increase autophagy also it's important that insulin sensitivity is improved so it's prevention of diabetes and cure of diabetes in many cases but uh, you should be careful if person already has diabetes uh, fasting can be contraindicated so uh, it's important to talk to your doctor first uh, also fasting decreases inflammation uh, it decreases inflammation markers in the blood uh, CRP uh, C-reactive protein which is a uh, market of chronic and acute inflammation it it can be decreased decreased during fasting also it decreases interleukin uh, 6 levels which is also uh, inflammation mediator so um, fasting decreases inflammation what means in uh, decreased inflammation decreased chronic inflammation means less chronic diseases and eventually it means longevity and a long lifespan also it decreases oxidative stress in the body so it has antioxidant effect also and what is side effects of um, uh, fasting and what is side effects of ketosis very important because uh, some people have illusion that uh, when body turns ketosis everything is good already he, he is uh, very well already uh, energy uh, mental clarity that's not true during ketosis in some cases we still have fatigue we still have headache constipation increased urination so um, ketosis also has some side effects in, in some cases but over time these side, side effects are minimized and uh, eventually can disappear when you practice in fasting uh, so when you start fasting if you have fatigue headache and constipation it does not mean that you are in ketosis already because similar um, similar uh, side effects can have uh, fasting when steel glucose is bar uh, burning and when when steel glycogen uh, reserve exists you still have uh, fat, uh, fatigue you still have headache you still have constipation but uh, after body turns into ketosis these side effects can exist but over time it's minimized and um, here's common question also how many calories is needed uh, to uh, for weight loss you should reduce your calorie intake from 500 to 750 for weight loss uh, it means for example if 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 you are 5.7 uh, you need around 2000 calories per day if you are male and if you are female you need less for example uh, 
1600 it's 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 your normal uh, calories intake it's for metabolic balance if you get these calories you will not uh, weight gain but you will not weight loss but if you intake less uh, uh, 500 calories less then you will uh, get weight loss and this weight loss uh, rate is one to two pounds per week average of course uh, so let's summarize let's summarize fasting has several important benefits first is weight loss second is insulin improved insulin sensitivity and third is autophagy Autophagy is anti-aging effect of uh, fasting. Uh, most important thing during fasting is ketosis. Body turns to ketosis from uh, glucose consumption. For ketosis, 12, uh, minimum 12 hours is needed. So it's important. For ketosis, 12 to 48 hours is needed. Uh, during ketosis, fat burns fast, ap appetite is uh, suppressed, increased mental clarity. Sometimes uh, some people say that energy level also increased. And autophagy is increased. And inflammation is decreased. And oxidative stress is, de is decreased. And it, uh, eventually it's anti-aging property. And some cases it has anti-cancer properties also uh, anti-cancer uh, there is several studies several Im important studies uh, that um, fasting can reduce reoccurrence of cancers over time for example uh, after treatment it can generally decrease risk of cancer uh, for healthy persons it can minimize side effects of chemotherapy during chemotherapy so fasting can be complementary treatment during cancer uh, or uh, during cancer treatment or for prevention but of course fasting is not replacing any conventional treatment so we still need doctor we still need conventional treatment methods but fasting can help uh, thank you for your interest thank you very much if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much